Welcome to another video you never knew you needed. Today we have the battle of the short wheelbases. My TJ versus Nathan's Suzuki Sierra. Coil versus Leaf, 30 versus 30s. Uh, two inch versus two inch. LSD rear versus rear locked. So we're both manual, both petrol. It should be good one of some light full driving. Hopefully a fair amount. In the mix we also have Nathan's girlfriend's uh, Colorado. This trip is a little bit more planned than the other ones. Um, we've planned it for about a week now. However, we don't know where we're going. So a bunch of the boys are racing go-karts up in Lithgow. First, first things first, I've got to turn this into a touring setup. So first things first, rear seats out, tourno cover on and throw everything in, swag on the roof and ready to tackle it. Let's get into it. That's first step done, after the tourno cover. You know what, I'm actually generally surprised on how much stuff I can fit in this very small tub. So that's like, that's, I think I measured up to 900 millimeters. I've got a 60 liter Esky in there, jerry can, because I don't know, this is my first time taking it out. I two max tracks, got my little camp box, bag with all my clothes in it, and camp chair. And that's, that's it, uh, swag on the roof. Other than that, that's a uh, touring TJ. And that's that, that is the full touring setup. So the back's loaded, swag on top. The only room I have really um, is down here and in the center console, glove box and down on the footwell, but shouldn't need anything because I'm, I'm only packing for myself. Um, one thing you might notice is different is the front bumper. So I had originally had a worn winch and a stubby front bar. So the stubby comes to the rails and that's it, so it gives you the best approach angle. It's really tight, but um, not exactly legal in Australia. left uh, go-karting a little late and didn't have time to get to where we want um, so I think the plan is Mount Walker but we're currently staying at the Lake Lyle um, actual campground I'm just waiting for the other two to wake up and then straight onto the tracks <laughs>
stop. Honestly, out of all three of the cars, I think the Colorado is actually doing the best. Um, the Zook is running into some gearing issues and garby issues where it goes up hills and just decides it wants to conk out. With mine, the belly hangs so low that you go over a speed bump and you get caught up and stall out. The Colorado is pretty much just eating everything up. It really shows that each car, no matter how capable you, everyone thinks they are, they all have their drawbacks and some are good in some departments and some are not so good in others. I think using this trip as a bit of R&D is actually really good because I can find out what are the limitations with the TJ. Biggest holdback is of course the belly height. We're probably gonna go tires first because it'd be probably a lot cheaper and I need bigger tires anyway, well not need bigger tires, but it certainly helped because the all-terrains are certainly showing their uh, disadvantages on this trip.